Hello everybody, this is Tonton here and Heslab has just introduced us to the latest Unicron figures then to counterpart it, a third party, a new third party the studio cell has also introduced us to a new Unicorn figures which is capture the spirit of the Haslab version which is big, detailed and good for MP scale so this is the first studio series cell Unicron figures including with the additional armor MB08 which is will be the head and the planetary ring of Unicron and now let's get to the box and as you can see this is a very cute artwork which doesn't relate to Unicorn at all but anyway the product is 16 plus and if you bring it closer here 16 plus you turn it aside and you see pretty much nothing until you turn it on to the back and as you can see this is the headless and planetary ringless unicrons I guess this is the reason for avoiding the copyright of the Haslab version because as you all know the third party brand are being terminated by the official brand just as the case of Gundam and now Transformer this size here and if you bring it onto this size over here as you can see you see some warning this is for some part may require additional support caution for sharp edges which is will be the very nice detail be sure to go through the manual retain the package and prototypes only and this is the thing that a lot of people is worrying about is that there will be no replacement part will be provided for damage caused by my Zeus that is pretty much because of what happened now is with the Zeus 01 that I just reviewed they actually provided with replacement parts for the hips join but here they just don't do it which is quite disappointing but I guess for figures this size it will be hard for providing th those parts and now moving on to the armor MB8 boxes as you see this is pretty much a plain box which is, has very nice handling here and now let's crack this thing open here's what in the box as you can see we have a figure of unicorn himself and a lot more accessories and it comes with a manual this is the manual here and the manual does come with a card I'm gonna show you the card here's the card this is actually just the box the figures I do not care about it, so let's throw it away. And here's the actual manual itself. As you can see over here. There are a lot of steps. And a lot of things I don't care about. If you turn it around, you will see this final piece for replace for different color parts. So as you can see here, apparently these two pieces, these pieces here, will become the mouth of Unicron and they will be, I'll bring it out for you to see closer there you go, as you see really nice, nicely detailed with the teeth, the teeth are pretty sharp here and it can attach with this effect parts right here so I'm just gonna bring, push this down like that and there you have the effects of speaking or recruiting Gavatron etc and of course there's some color variation for the arms as well as you can see this piece here will be replacing with this yellow piece of the, the forearms and this piece here will replace the shoulders so it will become a blue and I guess this is more to do with the planetary form so you have all kind of grayish blue onto unicorn planet mode and also this you have a bunch of this spike here they are they come in a runner so apparently you're gonna attach them onto here I will do another part that's showing me attaching these pieces along with this big box here we also get this small box and this is the head and the planetary ring apparently they are on two different release schedules so it is very lucky for me to get this in one shipment because the thing with, with a lot of people now is they are getting the first body and then they don't know how long until they can get the heads and the planetary rings fortunately for myself they ship it at once and so we have the head very nicely detailed head and I'm going to review this head in a minute and also it here comes with the famous planetary ring I'm gonna bring it in here very sharp very nice detail and sharp be careful when you're handling this because it's actually really painful now I'm gonna attach all the accessories onto Unicron.
So here's Unicron, fully attached with all the spike and the gap covering piece. And I'm gonna say I really love this one because this Unicron captured the spirit of the G1 Unicron back in the movies, the original Transform the movie. And with all the additional details and everything, it really looks like a god. It has a godlike prestige, and I really enjoy that. Otherwise, let's get to the details. So, upon the upper body of Unicron, as you can see, this is a very G1 accurate looking Unicron. Because a lot of figures, they bypass the color part of Unicron. But with this figure, they included that as well. So, it gives the figure an overall accurate look to the original material. Otherwise than that, as you can see here, a lot of piece, this chest piece have panel lines on it, created as the planetary piece. And then we also have some uh, silver clear parts in here. This is painted and has a silver painted and has a clear plastic covering it. So it gives the figure a shine looks. And also this part here is clear red, but unfortunately my camera is unable to catch the red on it. I'm gonna try to bring it closer. You can see uh, the shades of red is actually really beautiful. And I really enjoyed this. So maybe when I post some pictures, I'm gonna use a white background. So the red will actually pops in. Other than that, this piece here, oh, this has a lot of panel lines detail onto it. But this piece, I will color them later because they have the other sets of this piece which come with this shade of blue over here. And talking about the head, I'm gonna remove the head now because in G2, Unicron's actually exploded and the head is left floating. And other than that, this studio cells figure shows the head separately from the body. So I think it is worth to reviewing it as a separate piece other than just a piece of the overall figure. To remove the head, you simply just need to pull it out like this because it's actually come with this pin over here. So here's the head of Unicron and as you can see, this is a really nice sculpted piece. It will recapture the Chinese man looking vibe of Unicron. So if you rewatch my Unicron 30th Platinum Edition I did a while ago, I actually said that Unicron design looks like a Chinese man with all his beard and everything. And it does seem that the studio cell captured that aspect of Unicron. A really beautiful face sculpt. You got an opening jaw over here, allow him to open his mouth, and really detailed teeth and jaws over here. I really enjoy that and all this sculpt on the face resembling his and very ancient being of the universe and then otherwise if you turn around there's a battery component here and if you pull it out there's three LA44 batteries needed to power up him and sadly the batteries are not included so you will have to get the batteries somewhere else and also if the horns is movable it can bend up to this far and do a full rotation but I guess this is more for transformation features other than the actual use of the robot motor horn and of course there's the light up features as well you simply press this button over here and his eyes close I'm gonna reduce the light a little bit so you can see the actual lighting of him as you can see really beautiful green light shining and if you turn it on and there's also this button on the top. When you press it, show up this here. I think this mimics the, the mouth versions when he actually devours something. And that is really nice. Now I'm gonna bring the body back so you can see. As I have shown earlier, the mouth does get a really big range of articulation. But however, when you attach the head back to the bodies, this is with the only amount of articulation you will get. Because the fact that this chin piece here does get into the way of the body. So you won't get that big wide spread as you used to have with your head separately. But in my opinion, this is decent enough because as you see from this angle here, Unicorn really has the personality of a god and I really enjoy that. So it doesn't really matter. But I would just want you to know that this is the amount of mouth opening that you would get at this mode. Moving on to the arms and I will use his right arm as an example. The first is with the planetary ring. A lot of previous Unicorn figures move that details up to the back but here it stay on Unicorn's shoulders and that proves to be really movie accurate and I just love that they care about the little details over here just like with this spike here they are really sharp and you have to attach them manually 
and unfortunately that this piece here are yellow just like in the movie but if you want them to be uniform in the planet mode you will have to replace them and i will show this replacement later but and i really enjoy this spiky details it just proves that there is an actually cities lying on this piece over here that it actually this is a planet not just any vehicle and i really enjoy that detail about the joints here i want to highlight about this shoulder joint this is actually a ratchet die cast joint so it is really strong and it can hold up the arms really good totally unnecessary but i really love this because not only it proves the figures to be really sustainable and it also gives the figure a high-end feeling to it and that you have this big die cast joint which looks makes the figure look luxurious and beautiful and moving on to the hands of this figure here i'm gonna bring it in this is an actually a fully functional hands with individual fingers and each of them has three joints one ball joint over here this bent over here I'm gonna try to bring it in because it's actually really hard here and another bend at the tip and about the thumb there you have two joints one ball joint and one hinge but unfortunately with this design there's nothing much of a hand that you can do because it is really blocky but I do hope like the fact that even the wrist rotation is a ratchet joint and you got this slapping joint over here so make the hand is more dynamic and it's easier to pose and I really enjoy that and if you look actually look closely here this is actually claws and they are kind of sharp so do be careful when you're handling them the upper section of the hands are really nice and detailed and painted as you can see you can see the thumbs over here you got beautiful painted details over here and this also gives the figure a lot of panoramic opportunities if you are into it and i really enjoyed it and also this piece here you can rotate them as well you could bring them out like this so if he has all, all the spike he would want to have and if you were rotating him to this size over here you can see a lot more even more details onto this sections and this planetary ring and this planetary ring just look beautiful it has two joint one over here and one over here and even a hinge joint over here and the floppy parts of the soldier and to me this is a very beautifully designed and i really enjoyed it Another playable feature I want to introduce you guys to in the scenario that you are not a planetary ring person like I am. You can actually replace the ring to that mouth slash base part of the planet mode and actually attach it onto the soldiers. So to me this mode looks a lot better because it just makes him look beefier and I really really enjoy this look. And probably this is how I'm gonna display him on my shelves. The third party figures always have some kind of weakness and I think with this Unicron figures it shows really obviously that they have uh, problems with the plastic because as you can see this uh, knee piece here they are not fit completely but the, uh, then they leave a really big seam line onto it and that is some really disappointing aspect about this leg here and other than that there are a lot of holes that need to be covered with as you can see here and here and there there are a lot of pieces needs to be covered up uh, yeah, the additional runner piece but other than that i think this is a really beautiful design in the crown because it's captured the hips of the leg also that makes the legs look beefy but still respect the original material and i will have to give highlight onto the feet of the figures because with this design which is four four ways spread it it really helps the figure to stand up uh, it helps the figure to stand up and then it also gives a lot of die cast metal piece as you can see about this this two piece over here so they are all die cast which helps the figure to stand by grading the leg down and that is really nice of them to give us this die cast piece and it's also shown that they, they really care about the design and not just like giving die cast metal everywhere to hide in the price of the figures but actually design the die cast where that it is need to be and i really enjoy this aspect turning the leg around as you can see here a lot of nicely cts like design 
as you can see there looks like a lot of CTs here and there and I really enjoy that aspect also the gold paint here really highlight the blue and also that the gunmetal gray painted on it it really shows that this is a planet and I really enjoy that aspect of the figure and also with the back the back section of this figure is the same as the front so I'm gonna skip through it because you don't necessarily need to see it articulation wise of this figure we start with the head first so first you can look up that far nothing too much and down the mouth can be open just like I show you before and it can turn around 360 although it does get into the way of the because of the colors and the chin but then if you do it carefully you can get a full 360 of this which is a pleasant surprise the arm is connected to the body via a th dual ratchet die cast metal joint so this is a really tight and strong joint and it guarantees the figure can hold on to a variety of poses without decaying but however unfortunately the arms cannot do a 360 turn I don't know why but to me that is not a really a problem because it can still hold on to a great variety of poses anyway to me that is decent enough about the planetary ring here you do get a ratchet joint over here and that is really nice ratchet joint so it guarantees with this amount of plastic nothing will be a problem and you got two hinged joint onto the planetary ring the elbow of the figures has a double elbow double jointed elbow so it can do a full bend which is really impressive the hands I just mentioned earlier so I'm not gonna go into details but you do get a wrist rotation fully articulated fingers and then you got a elbow you got a wrist bend up about the waist you do get a really strong ratchet waist swivel here so it ensures the figure will stay in whatever pose you give in him and that is really impressive Despite the size of him, he does have an ab crunch, which is really impressive. And I will show it to you right now. And that is a dual jointed ab crunch, and I really enjoy that feature. A slightly ab crunch will improve the overall de dimension looks of him. Moving on to the skirt armor here, as you can see, it can move up and down like that. So it ensures that the articulation will be really nice. And when you move up with the leg, can move up that far and move back that far because they use the same joint and design so it actually gets a great range of articulation and you got a uh, you get a thigh swivel and you get a secondary thigh band at this at this part here but unfortunately I don't see the reason for that I think that is more for transformation that is totally unnecessary about the knee bend you can the knee can bend up to 90 degrees and that will be it and then moving back to the leg you do get a moving feet which is really nice but again that is more for transformation and you do get a pivot a really nice pivot the ratchet pivot here is really nicely done as you can see and I really enjoy that so now I'm gonna start transforming Unicron into his planetary mode so for the sake of convenience I'm gonna start by removing the head fold out these two horns and then we move to the neck bring the back details up to the front to form a pillars Then connect the two half together and then pull up the teeth
Now I'm gonna start placing the head back to its original place. Here you can see that the head is being shown outside, but then we will handle that in a minute. Continuing by open up the chest armor. Bring out the detail inside. Turn it around and bring it up. Tap it onto the mouth. And then you will have to pull out the whole upper body up and that is really hard and let me try it and here we go and now you can see that all the teeth are now folded in nicely and the head details are no longer being shown and now we'll just bring up the horns and tap it onto the mouth moving on to the torso you can turn it around like this, so it will be easier to assemble. Split the hips out in two pieces on two sides. And repeat the same onto the other side. And then up, moving on to the skirt armor. You split the front and the back side of the armor out. And then turn it around the hips. Hide it inside and then open out the details hidden inside the skirting armors and you will want to repeat this process four times Now to the down body, you're going to fold the feet neatly inside. Pull the feet down and turn the two claws to the downside. Repeat the same process. Now split out the two knee armor and like I had mentioned they are not really tapped in so this would be really easy. Then rotate this detailed. And do that again on the other side. Turn the body upside down. And you want to adjust the two heels. Lift up the leg armor out. And then rotate it inside out. And then you want to collapse it 
and fix it with the heels. With the two knee piece, you can secure them by the two legs with this right here. Moving on to the arm, I'm gonna split out the two arm armor, then lift it up, and then just gonna hide the hands inside. Turn around the armor and then turn around the both of the armor and then put it back to the old position. Lift up the armor on the shoulder, pull the pin out and then you know, bring everything outside. Turn it around to the downside. And then with this upper piece, you want to pull out all the inner details and then finally stabilize them by using all these tabs over here. And you would do the same to the other hand arms. And then connect this all this arm piece to the skirting armor and then connect it by this taps to the chest armor you run all the sides are the same and now we're gonna Rotate the whole leg up. It is quite difficult. You have to rotate it in the right direction. And then open up this tab. And we're going to use this to connect the leg. And then you want to strength out the thighs to connect the leg part to the main body you want to use this tab inside this is white to push it in together it's really hard and i already started to hit this unicorn and now you just want to connect the all the armor piece together this is easy but then to complete it without any gaps it is quite difficult And then finally, you want to work on the planetary ring. Okay, and finally I complete this transformation. So here we have Unicron fully transformed back into his planet mode and I don't like it at all because why the robot mode is really nice and movie accurate, they sacrifice it by the transformation. So they overdo the transformation. 
and also their quality control is not the best so as you can see the resort is a planet with a lot of gaps that don't actually taps in together or anything although i tried really hard other than that there are a lot of joints and hinges that do not want to taps in anywhere it's really frustrating for me to transform this guy on camera it, it took me like three hours to fully transform him and that was a really frustrating sequences but other than that i still love the design of him this is a very nice looking unicorn from g1 all that nice panel lines i kept and also all the yellow parts that you are seeing can be replaced with the blue parts that comes with the accessories uh, i'm just too lazy so i'm gonna maybe transform this guy in the future and then post it on instagram so you see what he looks like fully blue like not like yellow like this yeah i mean that is still the og unicron but this time with all that plating techniques from the masterpiece line but to be honest with you i wish they have, could have done it a little bit better by do the better quality control so by that way it doesn't affect the whole transformation feelings of mine after on this figure. Talking about the specific points of this planet mode, first I want to mention is the gap of the transformation. As you can see here, they are really hard to tap in and the result is a big and hollow gaps upon the final product. I think this is only a pure problems of quality control so i hope that they will improve this in the future with other designs the second thing i want to point out is the extra layer of planetary ring because in some other unicorns there are actually two rings around the whole planet but this here they only do it one ring and then as you can see there's this whole layer is left and it creates the feelings of bulkiness which i don't really like the third point i want to point out is that this extra spike here as you can see they are attached manually so they tend to fall off and I actually have to cut them a little bit so they fit onto the figures that is actually a shame considering the price I paid for these figures and then as if you look closely up to the top of the layer here I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit up so you can see here as you can see here this part here it is really hard to collapse and fully attach these two pieces together because of the design the material so it always gonna leave that mark over there as well and about the upfront horn it creates the feels of unbalanced to me which is a disturbance i don't really enjoy this too much another thing i don't like about this one is, is the base here i love the ideas but the execution is poor because as you can see here it is really a nice piece of design but then they left it there as a base but not attached to or anything at all it is just sit on there and be like that so that is a really poor execution of the base and the only thing i love about this mod it is the led function because it's used the led function from the head and that is really nice and shine so here is the studio cell unicorn versus the transformer armada unicorn from hasbro so as you can see they are quite similar except the, the studio cell version is bigger than the armada version and one other major difference is that the armada version doesn't come with a base so it cannot stay on, on its own in the planet mode so i actually let you see other parts of the studio cell so now i'm going to try to give them a spin so you can see what is around because i think the biggest major difference are those up in the back otherwise than just the armada version use a clear purple other than just a standard blue color so as you can see here because the armada version is made probably for kids so all the, the robot parts are folded in so here you can see the legs and the arms of unicron they are very keyboardy and they doesn't even make an attempt to hide it at all but with the studio cell version they actually hide it away so it looks more of a planet than just a big robot that transformed to what looks like to be a planet and i think that is a very well done designing points for studio cell because they actually aiming this product is for adults for us the collector rather than just children who is watching a show and want to buy the toys of that show a little bit of size comparison 
between him and the Armada version of Unicron. So as you can see, this Unicron towers over the Armada version. To me, however, the Armada Unicron will be better if you want to actually play with your figures with his variety of shooting missiles gimmicks and the LED function on the right hand. But for displaying, I would prefer this Unicron. And here's some size comparison. So I will put him next to Omega Supremes and I'm, I'm really impressed with the height of these figures nowadays. They really create that spotlight centers of your old collections. And the last but not least here he is with the Earthrise Optimus Prime. After reviewing this Unicron, I would really excited to have my hands on the Haslab version of the Transformer War for Cybertron trilogy Siege Unicron. So that will be the, my review today for the studio sale. 01 Unicron the Chaos Bringer. So, what do you think of this figure? Be sure to leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming Transformer video. And also follow me on my Instagram, the link is on the description below. And that will be it for today. Tonton out.